trying to find solutions for daily or even periodical anxiety or depression is not an easy task. So today I'm trying to help you by reviewing a few science-based supplements and nutraceuticals that can help reducing the symptoms of anxiety and depression. Hi, I'm Inga Land. I'm a psychologist with a master's specialization in neuropsychology and I create content for well-being and health. Just a disclaimer to the beginning, of course, supplements should not replace any professional help with if you suffer with mental health issues they should not be a replacement for clinical care and it's always good to consult your physician if you are considering a new supplement but the things that i'm reviewing here are pretty safe they are not prescription medicines they are just parts of foods basically nevertheless always do your own research and consult your doctor with that said let's start the first is omega-3 fatty acids these are probably one of the most known mental health supplements. There is a strong literature showing that they have good effects in brain and mental health. These are dietary fats that are found in foods like fatty fish mostly, uh, nuts and seeds. The most important ones are EPA and DHA. The highest DHA levels in your body is found in your eye and in your brain. EPA and DHA participate into the structure of the brain. They have also important role in neuroprotection and lowering inflammation. They can also be converted into endocannabinoids in the brain, which means that they have potential antidepressant and pain lowering effects. Studies show reduced omega-3 levels in people who are suffering from depression and several other mental health disorders. And there is evidence that omega-3 supplements or a diet which is abundant in omega-3 sources like fish, nuts and seeds have beneficial effect on mood and brain health as a whole. The next one is magnesium. Magnesium is essential for proper nerve cell functioning, proper brain functioning essentially, and the functioning of the nervous system energy production in the cell, so proper mitochondrial functioning, blood sugar control, and blood pressure regulation. In the nervous system, magnesium is especially important in reducing overexcitation of the nerve cell. So it basically blocks the receptor where calcium would bind, and this is how it prevents the overexcitation of the nerve cells, which could lead to, for example, anxiety or headaches. So studies have found a significant link between low magnesium levels and depression and that supplementing with magnesium may help to reduce depressive symptoms and different forms of anxiety. So there are many different forms of magnesium with different bioavailability and effectiveness. For example, magnesium glycinate is easily absorbed by the body and contain glycine as well, which is calming and can support calming neurotransmitters. Magnesium taurate also contains taurine, which helps with blood pressure. But there is really not a form that would be above everything, at least considering the current literature. So maybe you want to consider a combination supplement with several forms of magnesium or adding some magnesium food sources into your diet like pumpkin seeds, chia seeds and almonds. Next one is B vitamins, especially vitamin B12, cobalamin and folate. Lack of B vitamins, especially B12 and folate, have been consistently linked to mood disorders like depression and anxiety. According to one review, nearly 30% of patients with major depressive disorder have also a folate deficiency. So B vitamins are important for many bodily functions, including brain function, neurotransmitters, and managing inflammation. Studies show that supplementing with B vitamins, especially B12 and folate, may help improve mood if there is a deficiency. Some restrictive diet, like purely plant-based diet, put a person in a higher risk of B12 deficiency. So especially with restrictive diet, it's good to go and measure your B12 levels to see if you need a supplement. Next is more like a category than a one single supplement. This is adaptogens. Adaptogens are essentially herbal compounds or food supplements that has a positive effect on the resilience of the HPA stress axis. The first adaptogen I want to mention is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha has been traditionally used for relaxation, calmness and resilience and human studies show that it can help reducing anxiety even by 50% by balancing the stress. Animal studies also show that it can improve the calming GABAergic signaling in the brain. So the neurotransmitter GABA that helps you to calm down, sleep and relax. An other adaptogen that is often found in scientific studies and recommendations is rhodiola rosea or rose root. In the brain level, rhodiola is believed to increase dopamine by inhibiting two enzymes, MAO-A, so monoamine oxidase A, and MAO-B. 
that break down catecholamines in the brain. So it could support energy, motivation, and mood by increasing catecholamines. But as said, it could increase dopamine. So if you're very anxious and you're actually over dopaminergic, then you may find it too stimulating. So here you have it, four supplements or supplement categories for anxiety and depression, omega-3, vitamin B12, folate, magnesium, asphaganta, and rhodiola. There are also many more, but for the sake of time and avoiding overwhelm, I'm not going to review them in this video, but let me know if this is something that interests you and you want to learn more, then I'm happy to do more videos on this topic. Remember that anxiety and depression are not simple symptoms. Supplement is probably not going to solve all of it, uh, but it can definitely improve and support your overall well-being when used in addition to some other techniques and tools that you're already doing. So I really hope this helped. If you want to keep learning about wellness, brain and mind, check my other videos as well.